Okay. Now, how did you get even get started into this financial world? How did you get introduced to it? Like, who put you up on, mm-hmm. like, finances? So, so my first job in high school um, was so let me let me let me let me give the real you know kind of backstory about exposure, right? So I grew up in Houston, you know, close to to, to Willow Ridge, and um, you know, I, I never knew the neighborhood. You know, was uh. Well, you know, I got to I got to middle school and we had like a Chris, I went to Crystal McCullough and we had like a stairwell that had like crips. Oh, okay. That had blood. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. You can go through like one stairwell. You know what I'm saying? So in that environment, I was always straight A, straight a student in elementary, mm-hmm. but um, my grades start dropping because just the environment. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. Wasn't a, wasn't a, it, you know, to to what I know, me and my homies wasn't getting shot at, but it also wasn't like a. Uh, a, a thriving environment you know what i'm yeah, saying yeah yeah like, uh it, de- it definitely wasn't guns point <laughs> <laughs> it's an inside joke for y'all inside who joke. watch it it's an inside <laughs> joke okay. so, uh, so my parents moved um you know moved to a you know um a different neighborhood you know still you know middle class you know barely but it was on the it was on the it was on the side of the tracks where um, we were zoned to a high school where on the other side of that tracks was like where the Ro- Houston Rockets stay. So it was like money over there. Mm. And so and so um, so high school was kind of a di- you know like my homies on the basketball team. I play basketball. You know they're complaining because they're getting a, when was it like a, oh, they're getting a two thousand two thousand one you know Honda Accord. <laughs> yeah. You know, and they want and they wanted a Beamer. I'm yeah. like I'm like I got nine two four Tempo. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, you know I was. I was cool, but that kind of the subconscious exposure to just that expectation, you know what I'm saying? And then their parents, like they all had dope houses, you uh. know, and they and their parents were like engineers. And I'm playing ball with these guys. I'm like, they're not they're not that smart. They're not smarter than me, right? You know what I'm saying? And so, um, you know, I I and and um, and so my high school, one of my high school girlfriends at the time, her dad, I don't know, he's like a consultant, but I was in his house and he had these like he's like he's watching this channel and it had all these numbers and symbols at the bottom and i was like it's like man what is that so he kind of explained the stock market to me and i was like you know i'm you know i'm 17 like you know cool whatever i'm thinking about our date later on yeah yeah but yeah. i'm like yeah ah, cool you know interesting yeah, yeah. And so and so that kind of planted the seed but i'd always been entrepreneurial right so i you know i, I worked at best buy and made like 725 an hour and i like and I like hated it because it was boring. And so I said, "Listen, I didn't." I started selling vacuum cleaners, start selling uh, door-to-door um, satellites, and so I knew I wanted to run a business because, like, being bored at work, which is something you do for like a long time, I didn't want to do. And so I didn't. I hadn't put finance and entrepreneurship together yet, but th- those kind of seeds were planted in high school, and then in college, you know, I was, uh, you know, I was like, "Why am I going to college? These professors work for somebody. I don't. They can't teach me anything." My dad was like, yeah, but just go, you know what I'm saying? So I went, studied finance, because that was the only thing that I was like, okay, my dad's not good with money. He can teach, you know, he's one, the best person I know. Teach me how to good, be a good man, great character, all that kind of stuff. But I can't really go to him for money advice, because he's not he's not very great. Yeah. And so um, so I, that's why I got the finance degree. Then I was like, wait, wait a minute, I can actually, like, build a business, you know, where I invest money in businesses, and it's kind of everything I wanted to do in, 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 in one deal, and so that's... That's what got me in. Mm, okay. And I always, I didn't even realize this myself, but I feel like the, mo- the, the most important thing in your life is your paycheck, right? Mm. But you don't get no kind of teachings. You don't get no kind of education on, now, once I get this money, how do I, what do I do with this check? What do I, or like, how do I break this up? And I remember being a kid and it was this uh my mom's friend her daughter she was working like crazy and her mom wouldn't let her spend like no money mm. and i was like that's dumb like you working we in high school like you supposed to be spending your money but when she graduated they went and bought her a brand new car and then i'm looking like damn I wish I would have been saving my money because now I'm out of high school. I don't got no car, no nothing. I'm still borrowing my mom's car. I was like, fuck. I wish somebody would have been teaching me how to either save my money or strategize something where I could just put a little bit of money away and then I can come back to it later on. And so that's where I started where I was just like, you know what? 
nobody in my family, like I feel, is really financially sound or really good with money. Like in black communities, I don't know why we just don't we don't look at money the same, right? Mm-hmm. And so it just led me on a thing where I was like, I want to understand money. I want to have a different relationship with money.